Our goal was that our children should value the Mesorah and have an appreciation from where we come from, our heritage, our very rich heritage, and to be proud of who we are and to be a good example of what it is that a Torah Jew is supposed to represent. The goal is to focus on each individual, to bring out the best in them, and to make sure that they realize their full potential. Having my in-laws behind us the whole time, from the beginning of the school, constantly giving us that moral support, that advice and guidance that we need, has really been tremendously helpful for myself, for my wife, and for the school at, at large. Solomon Schwartz is an incredibly unique person who is invaluable to the Jewish community. Uh, he is a dedicated community servant who spends enormous amounts of time and effort to go way beyond the call of duty to address the concerns of the community. He's an incredible, credible person. The Shlomi Schwartz is a prime example of what a Yiddish Shabbat should be. He's a real Ben Torah in the way he behaves and the amount of time he puts into learning. He has written valuable svarim that people enjoy learning. Growing up, we always used to see him, he worked and he was, he was a busy person, but he would always learn whenever he had the opportunity. Sundays, Matzah Shabbasim, evenings. My father-in-law gives a shir every Shabbos in the winter and the summer, Pergeavos and a Chumash, and it came out of the place of, there's no shir in a shul, that can't be, we need to change that and there was no one willing to give the share, so my father-in-law stepped up to give that share. Shlomi and his wife, their simcha sachayim, their joy in life and their success at home comes from totally being devoted to Hashem, and if they have any doubts, they ask, what would the Torah say about this? And what would Hashem want in this situation? They don't just do things haphazardly, and what gives them personal pleasure. They're willing to put aside what they might have thought was correct if the Torah does not think it's correct. My wife grew up in a home where this idea of stepping up, the Makam She'enish is a, a motto that's spoken about, that's, that's, that's lived by, whether it be in the different shiur my father-in-law gives or his job at the OU, and my mother-in-law just, you know, being the uh, Karis bias and just really giving everything she has to her family. I feel, therefore, that it's appropriate for my in-laws to be honored at this dinner we see how Sipora, our daughter, and Zaviona work together so well, both in terms of how they manage their household, how they are mechanach their children. And when it came to the school, not only has Zaviona devoted a tremendous amount of his time, but uh, Sipora as well is very much involved behind the scenes. And the two of them are a great team, and they really are, we're very, very proud of them, Giti and I. To see Sipora and Zaviona now start a school and focus on Chinuch, is really a continuation of the legacy that my parents built. Shlomo is dedicated and is concerned about all the needs of the community and is, in addition to that, very much into taking the initiative and taking responsibility. So to find out that his children have replicated that approach to life and that degree of dedication and impetus is no surprise to anybody. I wish them a long, healthy life, to enjoy nachas from this couple, from all of their children. Thank you.